hello everyone we're back from sparkles college with a new lecture for the course that we were discussing and doing uh introduction to business ethics so we have another topic to discuss today that is stages in development of ethical standards in business uh before i move ahead i just want to request you all to please subscribe our channel just hit uh to the bell icon uh below your video so that you can get updated with our recent videos and all the updates so moving on to stages in development of ethical standards in business i think this word ethical standards is something that is not you know uh, unknown to any one of you now who's listening to our lectures from the first day because in our lectures many times we have mentioned this word that is ethical standards ethics all right morality ethical unethical business ethics corporate social responsibility ethical business standards all of these are some of the critical aspects and critical points that we have discussed and touched uh you know numerously uh in our discussions and we need to make sure that uh, we have everything ready with us we need to make sure that we know all of these details we need to just you know i would suggest you to go through the old lectures as well uh, while you're listening to the next lecture because you should be aware of what you have studied in the previous lecture and it's a sort of a recap i always try to add recaps in my lectures though uh you know just to be sure about it and just to you know make sure that you're um with me on the new topic as well and even if you have forgotten what we studied uh you know even if you forget it uh i'll always be there to remind you and that is why i always include a sum of a portion uh you know some portion of the previous lecture as well in my new lectures got it so let's move ahead all right so stages in development of ethical standards in business now basically what does this topic means it means that we're going to discover and you know just deduce some of the stages that that are there in development of the ethical standards in business we very well studied what businesses are we very well studied what ethical standards are right and wrong based on moral principles now what are the stages in the development of ethical standards ethical standards are not going to develop like that there's something to it there's something that needs to be developed in order to make sure that you know business is running with ethical and moral principles so what are those stages that this is what we're going to uh you know discover in this chapter and this is uh not to forget this is one of the other goals of this lecture of this course as well when i started the course i gave you four to five goals and one of the goals is stages in development of ethical standards in the business awesome let's move ahead okay mm-hmm. all right so ethical standards very important concept again i want all of you to pay attention uh because this is sort of a recap for all those uh, who forgot what we started in the previous lecture and it's going to help you to understand it in a better way so ethical standards refer to the principles that promote trust promote good behavior fairness governs the conduct of a person let me just explain these three points in detail first of all so it refers to the principles that that basically promotes trust within right it promotes good behavior it promotes fairness and trust within uh, you know uh with each other and it governs the conduct of a person so whenever a person is performing any action speaking talking doing something that person needs to make sure that he has been governed in a way that you know he is governed and his 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 conduct is such that you know it's going to make sure that he is following the ethical standards and the moral principles this is something which is very important all right so uh, it refers to the principles that promote trust it promotes good behavior and fairness governs the conduct of a person so it includes those that enjoy virtues of honesty uh, it includes compassion and loyalty includes standards relating to rights such as the right to life right to freedom from injury and right to privacy now i'm going to discuss these in detail with you once again so anyone if you have any confusion on what ethical standards is this is a good chance for you to actually understand these points again and you know even still i always tell you that if you still have any questions just feel free to write down and i'll be there for your assistance all right so it is ethical standards so it refers to the principles that promote trust so those principles that are going to encourage trust and you know promotes good behavior and fairness and honesty governs the conduct of a person again discussed in detail it includes those that enjoy virtues of honesty all right so ethical standards includes those people those objects those norms and regulations that enjoin 
virtues of honesty okay it includes compassion loyalty loyalty is a very important word that is you know based on the ethical standards it includes standards relating to rights now what rights are we talking about we're talking about right to life right to freedom from injury and right to privacy all right moving on let's go to the next slide basically what there i'm going to do in this uh, slide show is that i'm breaking different terms and i am going to show you the connection between them so i first told you what ethical standards are and the next thing is going to be oops just give me a second yeah business ethics again we have studied this so many times in many in much detail it refers to the standards for morally right and wrong conduct in a business so you very well know that the standards for morally right and wrong con conduct we discuss that business ethics are based on moral principles of what's right and wrong right enhances the law by outlining acceptable behaviors beyond government control it enhances the law by outlining acceptable behaviors beyond government control so not you know there are things where government is not going to say you anything okay uh maybe if you are not allowed to take a let me give an example take a leave for a, a sick leave when you have taken your seven six leave sick leaves and the eighth one uh, you know you're not eligible for it according to the laws and regulations according to even labor laws maybe right so just imagine if you get sick so much that you need another sick leave but that's not included in your uh, as paid leave as sick leave but still your manager or your ceo he gives you that leave so it means that it enhances the law of outlining acceptable behaviors beyond government control so someone who's going to govern it still it's beyond that and it's still correct and still you're giving that person a paid leave which is an exception which is not in the rules and regulations but this is where the ethics come on all right written and unwritten code of principles again there are some set of values that are already there they're already written but with that there are some set of values which are not written all right there are some written uh, unwritten code of principles as well uh you know being being ethical if for example if someone is going through in the office and you know if i pass a good smile to that person just a friendly smile that's that's a kind of an ethic as well that i'm following i'm being friendly in the office i'm just creating a good environment right so written and unwritten code of principles this is what can be written in that that it's ne nowhere written that you have to smile in the office towards your colleagues you know in in a nicer way but if you're doing that it means that the, this is an unwritten code of principle but you're being kind you're being nice you're being helpful all right so these are some other examples as well then values that govern decisions and actions of individuals within an organization so there these are values that basically govern decisions and actions of individuals within an organization and when i talk about individuals i hope you very well know that these individuals are not just employees these individuals are all other people as well they are all kind of stakeholders so it can be your ceos it can be your hr department your managers it, they can be your employees they can be your suppliers manufacturers investors all right lenders everyone who's involved in a business values that govern decisions and actions of individuals within an organization all right then we have apply not only to how the business interact with the world at large but also to their one on dealing with a single customer i'll give an example if you're running a business where you have to deal with many customers every day and you know still you know it does not apply not only to how the business interact with the world at large like you know even with the little li problems that a customer is facing you're still being ethical and you're addressing those issues even though if you're not going to address them it's still fine because it does not apply to how the business interact with the world at large that he's just one single customer even if he goes even if he's not happy that doesn't matter right but still in this case what i am telling you is that it does not apply not only to the business interact with the world at large but also to one of their customers as well who's who with whom you're dealing so if someone is not happy with the product first of all for example you know you're not just saying that okay you have taken the money and now i've given you the product now okay my job is done no you're not going to do that you'll be there for the assistance you will make sure that you make that person comfortable and you're going to listen to their issues you're going to try to address them so that because you know that you know this is something that you need to understand that one customer is going to have that mouth that he's going to speak with he's going to give you reviews he's going to and even if he's not giving reviews to be very honest when ethics are involved there's no logic there right so it's not like that okay i have to think logically and i have to uh you know um just 
make sure that I just consider my benefit. So ethics are there where there is a balance between logic and ethical conduct. You are also thinking beyond logic and beyond rules and regulations that are made beyond the government control. Okay, so this is very important point. All right, moving to the next slide that we have. This is the importance of business ethics. Now you have seen that how we have st we started doing it from. Let me show it to you. So we started from ethical standards or first of all initially we started discussing the stages in development of ethical standards in the business then we moved towards the ethical standards that what ethical standards are then we moved towards the business ethics and then we moved towards the importance of business ethics so we have covered these points ethical standards business ethics all right and also then we have covered that what are the what is the importance for it so to avoid then i'm just going to read it and then i'm going to explain it to you the importance of business ethics to avoid the negative implications helps in making decisions that create positive impacts steering away from unjust outcomes earn customer loyalty save billions on lawsuits pillar of strategic planning and strategic thinking base for continuity in business relationship improve employees performance so i'll tell you what these points refer to so when it comes to importance of business ethics i think there this is something not new to any one of you because we have already discussed this in detail that importance of business ethics is like something which is going to which is essential for your business to run smoothly for your business to have good reputation in the society in the industry to avoid any sort of negative implications on the business that this business is very you know unjust to their employees or the employees are very bad or employees are not uh, you know um, loyal to the organization or something like that anything that's basically revolving around these details or these concepts we say that okay this is where the business ethics or the importance of business ethics comes forward so importance of business ethics is to avoid the negative implications helps in making decisions that create positive impacts it steers away from unjust outcomes so there are unjust outcomes that are uh, there and you know it just when once you follow business ethics in your business you are moving a, a, a way from the unjust outcomes as well you're moving away from disloyalty dishonesty you're you know you're earning not only customer loyalty but you're earning all sorts of stakeholders loyalty whether they're consumers whether they're producers whether they're suppliers whether they're manufacturers whether they're the CEOs of the company the HR the you know any other department operations department employees all these people all of them are going to be you know uh, you'll earn their loyalty within a business and everyone would know that okay we have to perform in the most ethical manner and everyone would uh, you know just agree to this that okay in our life in our uh, you know this career where we're doing this job we need to make sure that we're ethical in our conduct same would go for the employee same would go for the supplier same would go for the other stakeholders of the business so it earns customer loyalty save billions on lawsuits it means that if you are ethical in an organization you're not doing anything wrong you're not you know cheating someone you're not being disloyal to someone you're not breaking someone's trust who trusted you the most or or trusted you blindly then that means that you're going to save billion on lawsuits as well there won't be any fights there won't be any problems associated with it because everyone would know that you're too true to yourself you're true to your business you're true to your company so you're going to save billions on on lawsuits there won't be any uh, you know conflicts that may arise that needs to be solved or any cases or any you know for example fraud cases or anything like that because people would know that they have to be just to the organization pillar of strategic planning and strategic thinking importance of business ethics is basically it's the pillar of strategic planning and strategic thinking when you're making strategies you need to make sure that this is a pillar of business ethic that needs to be followed base for continuity in business relationship again uh in a business relationship if you want continuity if you're not just looking for a one time profit or one time benefit and if you're looking for a long term relationship then it's very important that you base it on for you basically understand that the base for continuity in business relationship this is a very important concept that needs to be followed improve employees performance very important thing if you have business ethics in the company if everyone is you know going to be ethical it's going to improve improve your employees performance because you know they would not have any pressure on their minds they would know that they are in a very positive and healthy environment which is going to help them 
not only professionally but mentally as well it's going to give them a you know sense of satisfaction so that is how we have discussed 